Hi everyone, welcome. I have a little bit, I've changed my setup a little bit and I'm trying it out today. I am trying to get a better quality um, recording of my art and so I've had to bring everything forward. And then I also got a new webcam for my palette. So it's a little askew, so let me fix that real quick. I've been trying to get it to work. It's just a little finicky. All right, welcome. We got already got 12 people here. Welcome. I tried to set up a poll, you guys. I just, <laughs> I watched a video and I thought I got it and then I went in to go do it and I think it might be in this other area that I might try really quick. So um, welcome Temple, so glad that you're back here. Peg, hi Cameron, hi Laura, Chrisella, welcome back. Dreamweaver, are we back to your, Michelle, what happened? Well, we like you as Michelle or Dreamweaver. So glad that you're here. Loretta, and Loretta, I think you're, um, Gil Martin. Awesome, hello. Oops, wrong account. Hi, Liz, welcome. Santal Knit, welcome, all the way from Canada. Denine, just finished watching the Friday Live. The three pick reveal at the end is amazing. Well, if you guys really like those reveals, I've printed this one out and um, I'm really excited to be able to show you the before and how it um, journeys. Hi, Francine, my amazing, commenter with the amazing words you guys so many of you um have such a gift with words um i had some amazing comments over the last couple days that have really made <laughs> made an impact it, it, it's just really nice to connect with everybody yeah i was wondering uh michelle how are you feeling or um i know you and your husband i do go back over and read chat because i miss some things sometimes that you both had the flu so i hope you're feeling a lot better Hi, Valerie. So glad that you're here. We got 18, that's awesome. Well, I'm really excited. I'm Every week I make a new change to this whole setup. Um, I have a little tiny place, if you guys, you can see how the camera's right behind me, but um, I had it about uh, almost two feet back farther and I was like, why is the picture not showing up as well? And then I have these lights I'm trying out that, um, I can adjust. I just don't want them to be too bright, but it's like uh, I'm playing around with everything. So I, um, it takes time to get a setup that works well with, with everything. So I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope, oh, we got Traveling Family Journal. That's a new one. Hello from France. Goodness, we've had Denmark, France, um, Australia, so many places in the state, the UK, um, it's just so wonderful to have everyone here and I've been trying to keep track of from the people all over the world and it's just been really wonderful being able to connect with so many people through art and this collective energy. So I, I really want to thank you for being here and last uh, Tuesday we, we got pretty far on this piece. Uh, I'm sure many of you are like, well, it looks done, it looks done, but I'm just going to take it on a journey and just see where it goes. Um, that's part of my process is I don't have it all planned out, but that's also part of abstract. I mean, abstract just really is a flow. You're really into flow a lot more. And just so some of you can, um, that are new here, that are maybe just watching this replay, this was the inspiration piece. This is a piece I created quite a few years ago. And um, like I said, I, I'm not the same person, so, I'm using this just as inspiration for today and um, I'm going with how I feel and what um, inspires me because if I just tried to recreate that, I, I'd go crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> I've decided that uh, I'm letting it be. And you know, this actually inspired me for, um, I'm just gonna get a piece of tape and stick it up here. But it's actually inspired me because I've looked through some of my older work and I'm like, you know what? I think I might just go through some of those and play around with them in these lives and see how I've changed because I, I have a lot of ideas that I really liked but maybe I didn't expand on them. So um, I've been going through and my poll today, 
if I can do it. I might try to check real quick why a lot of people are coming in. We have 18 of you. I thought I, maybe it's up here. It's crazy because I watched a whole video. The guy was like, it's right here. I don't know if I have to start the poll before I um, get going, but I think that's some of it. And so um, I'm just, uh, my poll was for next week, I was going to like, I'm going to do a, um, I'll do a text and I was, I'm going to write it out. Hi, Lori. Welcome. So we have number one. We can paint a um, a bird, a rainbow bird, next week. And then we're going to do number two. We can do a figurative. And you know I'm always going to do my style and abstract it all out and stuff like that. I'll just put all me here real quick and see if that works. Oh, I didn't reconnect the webcam. Okay, and then... Um, Number three, we can do another abstract, but I'll do it in a different um, ab. Let's see if I can spell it right. Abstract, um, I'm thinking of a grid a composition, and I have a piece that I did a long time ago that I think would be a lot of fun to play off of. So we got number one, number two, and number three, and then I'm going to say, please vote. And then we'll just do this version of a, of a poll, and, and then I think I can pin it. And then once it goes up here, there we go. It should let me pin it. Well, you guys, I'm going to get this down. I, I, I don't know why sometimes it lets me do stuff, and sometimes I should be able to pin a comment in here, um, but it seems like it lets me do it before, but um, I'll just keep referring you guys back. So I'm definitely um, excited to see what you guys, and I will I will go through and count them. So we just need to remind people because they're gonna be coming in and um, hopefully we'll get them to uh, participate. I, th I think it'd be a lot of fun because I honestly don't mind painting any of those and um, it's, I'm not really, uh, in any of those, I get to do what I want. <laughs> it's just what subject matter um, speaks to you guys. So the grid abstract is a lot of fun. Um, the rainbow bird would be a lot um, like the one I done before, but a whole different bird and a different scene. And then the figurative, I'm just gonna sketch something up and um, see what comes through. So, and of course, they'll all have this abstracty fun vibe. All right, so we've got 21 of you guys in here. And we'll just remind people to go through chat and I'll try one more time to see if I can pin it. Huh. Nope, won't let me do it. All right. So we'll just, you know what I'll do? I'll copy and paste it. And then I'll do it one more time later. Okay. So um, I went in and I've listed all of the pan pastels that I'm using in here and they're in the uh, description below. So um, I've list listed them from row one from left to right and I think that'll help people a lot more because I'm getting a lot of questions about that. And if you're new here, pan pastel is what I'm mainly using. It's an ultra fine, basically pigment, beautiful, beautiful medium that I use these soft tools to paint um, like a painting. And it's dry medium. What makes a difference from sticks is that the sticks have a little bit more binder in them and they are more for blending. Like the soft tool, you're blending them as you go in layers and they're a little bit denser and uh, you would wanna use a lower grit paper. And this is a 600 UART dark it's a um, the 600 grade and it's um, a sanded pastel paper. The one thing I, I want to remember to say today is that in the end, when all of my paintings that are color pastel, they get um, protected behind glass and they are framed. So and I do not spray any fixative on them. Um, when you use the right paper that will hold it, even 
it just depends. It's a personal preference, but I don't spray fixative at the end. Um, I just tap them off, blow them off, and then I frame them properly um, behind glass, either with spacers or a reverse double mat. Um, the uh, way I store my pieces is I store them in between glassine. So those are a few um, facts and we'll get rid of some of the myths because I get a lot of questions with that after these lives especially. So I basically have blocked in everything. I had some fun. I put some lines in here. I got some really good structure. We're not going to be changing a whole lot um, today because abstracts are just kind of that way where I don't feel, I know when I reflected on this, I didn't really feel a big urge to change anything. I did go pretty hard and put in those white spots. So I might tone those down a little bit. Um, the, uh, we'll just see how it goes as I bring things up. So I'm gonna be bringing up some of the whites around here. I, I do think I'm gonna put like a little bit of a darker vibe like this is going in and I'm going to bring this into the greens because I'm really liking that these look like rocks and it's becoming its own and it's just kind of telling me what it wants so let me check here with chat the new thank you Lori the new camera angle looks great I'm so glad because I can literally go behind here and tap and make sure it's focused um, I was sitting there like why isn't the quality very good for all these five weeks and I needed to bring my camera closer. And I'm eventually gonna get some rods up here to be able to hang everything from the ceiling. And so I'm hoping that will work. All right, we got some good votes here. Lots of number ones. I'm excited about that. We got threes. Man, hopefully it's fixed now. Let's see what Michelle... Oh yeah, you're back, your name's here. Okay, Dreamweaver. That's Michelle Leslie is Dreamweaver. She's got a vote. Looks like I'm the only one picking two, Francine. You never know, people will come in later, maybe more people will pick too. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you guys can notice the new camera. I, I'm really wanting, there's no reason why, I, this is a new camera, it should be great. <laughs> so I'm thinking if anything's wrong, it's my problem, right? Um, okay, um, Autumn Rain, we're voting on, um, I'm gonna plop it in here real quick one more time before I get started painting. Oh, let's see. There we go. I'm putting it in there again since I can't figure out how to pin during the live. So um, we're voting on what I'm going to work on next week. So I might put that in a couple times as we go here. And then um, by next week, you'll find out. I don't know if I'm going to tell you guys at the end because I got to calculate them all up and stuff, but it definitely gives people a voice. So the one thing here, um, the pan pastels look so much more vibrant under closer camera angle and light. Yeah, the one thing is, is I do want to talk about that a little bit. So they look pretty true to color. The only thing that's not really true to color is th this and this one. This is the white white and this is the, um, the yellow oxide or ochre tint. So that one's a little blown out. This red is a, is a little off because when red is so bright, it, it can be a little wonky. But the rest are pretty true to color from what I can see. Um, I would say these are a little bit brighter green right here. But for the most part, it's doing pretty good. So I'm excited about that. All right, I might just even start off. Well, let me get the right tool here. All right. Hello, Autumn. I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited to see what your vote's going to be. So I hope everyone's feeling better this week. I know we had a few people that were um, a little under the weather, and that was a real bummer. So I hope you guys are doing a little bit better. So I'm going to go in right here a little bit. And my plan is, is I'm just going to bring up some of this slowly because it's going to make these whites not scream so much out and I'm go, I'm going for a little bit of a cloudy vibe I love that because this is in the clouds and I'm thinking it's a city and um it's the rainbow the a rainbow city or something like that so that's what I'm digging Figurative, yeah, like a human, like a face. That's what I would be doing. 
like the one I did last week. Just, I, it'll be a little bit different. I was also thinking of, if it's a figurative, I had this one where it was a cross in between the being and the figurative. It's kind of like my grow one with a face instead of just a being head. I don't know, I'll have to sketch up some ideas. I'm leaving, I'm going to go see my brother this weekend. He's about four hours away and um, we're gonna do that. So I won't be on this weekend for my spontaneous live that I was thinking about doing, but Yeah, that is a long time to not feel good, Michelle. I am so sorry. It's been going around though. There's a few people in our circles that have not been feeling good either. Okay. I'm going to go slow with this because I don't want it to be too dominating yet. I'm really trying to use the full face of the tool here. The oval is my favorite. I've just, I think you just have to like commit to one of the soft tools and line up for it. Um, I used the, um, the, the, it was a half circle. I'm trying to think it wasn't the oval one. It was just the curved one at the top. I use that one a lot, but I like that this is a little bit like the, um, the applicator and this, you kind of get that same vibe, but then I get to use all of this edge and I really like that. Um, you have to really just give yourself time to get used to the tools. Filbert, yeah, that might be what exactly the, the name for it. <laughs> oh, Peg, I love that you're changing your vote. It's a big decision. <laughs> you know what, um, we'll see how this goes because I think it's fun that you guys get the vote on what I'm gonna paint next week. It'll be fun and it'll help me make a decision because I waffle around a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring up some of these around in these areas. Oh, hello, Helene, welcome. Thank you for the wonderful comment. Made me blush a little. You're so sweet. <laughs> That's really sweet. I, You guys are amazing community. I was just talking, I was actually um, out with um, my friend Ivy. Today we were at coffee and I was telling her how amazing the um, community here is, is on YouTube and I'm really enjoying connecting with you all here. I just really haven't felt satisfied on Instagram and um, Facebook. I'm just, I made the move. I, I call it YouTube forward. And um, I'm really glad I made the shift because um, it's just been wonderful. Hi Phoenix, welcome, welcome back. You guys have um, so many cool pets. I, I was trying to, there was someone I wrote down that I was gonna ask them what their dog's name was because I don't have that one down. I wrote myself a note. I'm trying to see if I can see it here. Oh, it was Francine, Francine Tony. Um, I don't have your dog down and I was like, oh, I wanna know your dog's name because you said your dog freaks out when, when the recycling comes too. And I'm like, oh, we all, it's so wonderful. If you guys have pets, I'd love to know what kind of pet you have. Um, tell me its name. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. One day I was saying hi to everybody and their pet. It was really fun. So I might be covering up this line, but that's totally fine. I can put that back. And that's the cool thing about uh, pastel is, is you can make changes along the way. I'm not doing a lot of erasing today, which is a rare moment. Um, I don't really feel the need. There's one spot here I want to erase a little bit and that's this one. That's the cool thing about this paper is um, I also thinking about getting rid of this and making this transition a little bit different. 
I think that brings your eye. I already went really bright right here. I think that really brings my eye up off to the, the thing. Maybe if it was um, duller. I'm going to see what I want to do there. I think the only other spot I was going to add a little bit of black in here, a little bit in here, and in here. I might bring that over into a full circle there. I guess I do have a few things to erase. Okay. I'm going to pop my black into those spots real quick now that I'm thinking about it. Oh gosh, you guys remember to put question marks. I didn't put that in there. Um, what about a bird human? Hey man, we're supposed to simplify Autumn. <laughs> I like your creativity though. I do. I, I'm, I will marinate in that. I'll marinate in that because I have no qualms about trying something quirky and different. I'll write that one down. Um, I notice you usually don't use white for the brightest light. Is there a particular color you choose to do or depend? Um, you know, Valerie, I'm using white today with this one because I really wanted to protect my brights. I think some of it's just mood with me because whatever I tap the white into, I already have a layer below. It just makes it into a tint. Um, this tint right here is the um, yellow, it's called yellow oxide right now, but it used to be called yellow ochre. And then I also have um, below, which I'm going to celebrate soon. I almost want to use it just so I can celebrate. I've almost used it all up. Um, that is the raw umber tint. So those are the two I use the most. Percy. Oh, a rough collie. I've never heard of a rough collie. I had a collie growing up that looked just like Lassie. And his name was Cochise. Um... My art assistant is a cockapoo named Luna. Oh, I love that, Stacy. My mom had a dog named Luna, and I love that sweet dog. Percy, that is a great name. I'll have to look up the rough collie. Stella, she goes nuts when the mailman comes. I love that peg. Yeah, Michelle, I agree. I think Facebook and Instagram, they've really messed with the algorithm so much. It's just, you know, it's, it's just not the same. And this is more educating on YouTube. And I just think it fits me more. And um, I just got really, you know, I'm still doing Instagram and stuff, but it's not my first thing I go to. This is now I'm just, I like calling it the YouTube forward because it's like, it really puts the direction and intention of where I want to go, you know, so. So I'm just tapping in a little bit of brights up here. I think I'm going to, this is the orange. I'm using a dark wand, which isn't great with the white, so I'm I love that you guys are all talking about your dogs. That's awesome. <laughs> Lassie and Cochise are rough collies. Okay, thank you, Lori. Lori, I love that you can help me out. In a time, you always help me out. <laughs> I loved that dog as a child. I lived on a farm and it was, you know, I never knew the difference, but my parents didn't have indoor dogs. And I didn't have an indoor dog till my first dog. And um, here, Sunny. Um, so I grew up with, with, and Buster, I had a little miniature schnauzer. 
And um, Cochise on the farm was, took care of everybody, took care of all the animals, took care of keeping the um, wolves away. And um, when he passed away, well, I had him for a very long time, really good life, um, all the animals came out of the woodwork and I was staying out there helping my folks because we were selling the place. And um, all of a sudden I, there was possums and um, raccoons and um, coyotes, stuff I never saw growing up. Deer that Cochise kept away because he was outside all the time. He lived in the, the barn. And um, it, it was really interesting to see how much he protected the farm. Welcome, Kim. When you tap in the color next to like the white or another color, is the color to place the color there or blend it in? Like in the area where you tap the yellow by the white. I'm trying to see, you know what? We're a little crooked here. Let me see if I, I don't know. I feel like this has moved a little bit. I have a little float in there. It's kind of driving me crazy. Okay. So when I'm tapping on, I'm going to show you on this because I don't have it a full screen. The screen's edited in a way. So when I'm tapping on the white, if I don't want too much on, I'm actually tapping onto my board. This one is a white board, but, um, I'm tapping onto the board to tap it off and then I'll go on to it. So if I'm, I'm, when you see me go out of frame, a lot of times I'm wiping onto a microfiber and I have a microfiber towel down here and that's how I change my colors. So I'll go down, I'll tap into the color and then I'll pretty much go on here. And then when I'm done with that, if I'm not tapping it anywhere else, I will automatically, unless I'm grabbing more of that color, tap it into my, my microfiber towels. So the microfiber towels, they are especially good for people who have allergies or asthma or anything like that. They um, hold on to the pastel a lot more because the microfibers just really take that ultra fine dust. So I'm basically going like this and I'm putting that color in and then I'm like, okay, I don't know where else I want to go. I know I'm going to, it's almost automatic for me. And then I'm wiping it off on here. And then I can go tap into a whole nother color. So I hope that answers your question. So I'm going to put that in just a reminder for everyone. Um, uh, to please put a, just so I don't miss it, you guys, I just don't want to miss you because the chat is getting a lot more fun here. Okay, so I got that in there. Gosh, we got 28 people here. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here for a, for a Thursday. That's really good. Hi, Cassie. Welcome. I'm glad that you made it here. Michelle, I haven't looked back. Okay. I actually, my first summer is what got me to, she passed away 12 years ago yesterday. Wow. Her name was Miska, Mishka. And I fell, oh, That's wonderful that that got you into art. I mean, it's sad that, you know, but art is so healing, you guys. I mean, I think we all know that for those of you who do create. Um, I I've, I feel like it's really helped me through my, my journey of healing. Um, I've lost both my parents at a young age. And when I lost my mom three years ago, it just really helped me move through that. And I was actually in an auction at the time and I stayed in it because I knew I wasn't going to create. And I, I created some really personal pieces in that, that, um, it was a journey. It was a journey. Um, but art definitely heals. I don't, I think the other thing for art is it keeps me 
healthier, my mental health. I, I have a lot of my focus can be on art and I have an overactive mind. So if, um, if I don't do art enough, I, I find my overactive mind takes over and, um, that is when I realize I have to go create something just to help me rebalance myself. And I also use meditation for that. I, I try to meditate um, every day. It just helps my brain. But art, I don't, I don't know what I would do without art. Okay, soft pastels are toxic, question mark. Okay, Santal, knit. Um, the pan pastels are actually, they, if you go on their site, they're considered non-toxic. Um, but I think they have to put that California thing on there no matter what. But from what I've been told with research, they're very low. Um, if you're having any problems with those things, a pan pastel out of all the soft pastel um, is really good to get into because of that. So it's been really positive. For a lot of people that have had some problems to use pan pastel because it doesn't shed especially when you use the right paper like I'm using a sanded paper so it's not shedding and falling down especially when I load my brush correctly um, it, it just stays on the paper I'm not dealing with it falling all the time now if I was using sticks you would just start seeing it shed all over Yeah, it seems like a lot of us can connect with the with the art and creativity really helping us keep healthy. It's important, man. I never really connected it to that as much until the last few years. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I stayed out of the studio too long and I'm going nutso. <laughs> I'm like, I can just emotionally, especially now that I'm 50, the, the, um, it really helps keep me, my mental on an even kill. <laughs> okay, so... I'm thinking here, I'm going to put in these darks right down over here. I wanted it to go a little darker down here and here. And you know, abstracts are really just such a personal preference type of art that I use them for like a meditative thing. I just really... love working with this structure and then breaking it down and then I had this one that I want to put this all the way over here And so my thought here, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to push it that there's a cave back there, that there's depth. And I know I'm going over some of the whites that I put down, but that's that kind of push and pull that I like to do. So I want these to look like they're coming out. And this is that Wolf Carbon Pencil that I use to kind of hold everything. You're welcome, Santal.
Yeah, Temple, it, it's just amazing how much art can help us all. Yeah, I'm adding the mysterious cave. This is that rainbow city, and then this is floating above it. And um, I, I'm resisting doing this whole section in there because I think that might be a lot. I don't think it would be horrible if it went this way. And then I'll fluff the clouds. I might blend this one in so it looks like it's on the same plane. And this is where those the, the painting starts, you know, telling me what it wants. I have done a few of these rainbow bridges that I really like the theme of it. Okay. So we'll fix those transitions a little bit later. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate, you know, you giving the cheering out to everybody to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I'm really appreciating all the support. I'm almost there, you guys. I'm like, um, with all your watch time hours that you've been helping me get through these lives, I'm only like 700... I think I'm less than that, like 675 hours left to um, to get the chat stuff, the extra chat stuff, all of the memberships, the exclusive, you know, the fun exclusive extras that you can have and super chat. So all of that's coming. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this. I want this maybe to pull out to be greenish. So I like to mix greens. Also wanting this to look like it's going in here. This is the permanent, the permanent yellow green. This is the extra dark. So you have to have that back and forth to really get that transition. I'm impressed how well the black pan can take over the white. No eraser needed there. The black pan. Do you mean the, like how the black pan, like if I went over it with the white? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like when I'm blending, yeah, I don't have to erase because I'm actually using that to create the depth and the transitions. So I'm going to fluff this out a little bit now that I know where I want that structure to be. And I'm really liking how it, it's flowing and I'm thinking of making that go up a little bit more because see this line, it kind of goes through the whole thing right here. And then this line kind of goes through here. So I'm just playing around with that. The only thing I'm not totally digging is this being so hard and this being so hard. So I might try to angle this up here a little bit. And that's just personal preference stuff. I played around with that cruciform in watercolors the other day. Oh, well, that's great, Michelle. How did you like it? How did, did you have fun? Did you, um, it's fun to kind of try out the different compositions. 
like really just taking one and focusing on it is huge you guys like some people go oh conversation is so overwhelming and it is if you try to take it all on so I'm gonna try might even try to link those a little like get them close So to do mist and clouds, it's it's just this like gentle buildup and you have to have some transition. You have to wipe off your tool a lot to get that transition because it's about having it fade into the background and then bringing it up. Oh good, I'm glad you enjoyed that. It, it's definitely worth practicing some of those basic con compositions. I think I, I had someone asking me what, um, what I was using and I just had it drawn on here. I don't know where the piece went, but for the composition, I'll just really quick show people, I'll do it the black ink here, is I'm, a cruciform is just a cross and you're being creative. So. Let's say I want it to come out here. Well, even if I use like the form I have right now, it's, it's coming out here on this end. So if I drew that up, I had that, and then I have it coming down through here. And what I'm thinking is I want it maybe to go up here and bring this down here a little bit. And then I have it going over and then I have it coming up. So I feel like I have this right now pretty low and then wherever these points cross can be a focal point. So this here can be a focal point. I'm actually bringing it up here and then in here, this is really busy and where they cross. So that is a cruciform vibe. It's where it touches, goes out in the four four planes. So I can't have two going out here. I can only have one. And it's just playing creatively with that. I'm thinking that showed up better. Yeah, that showed last time I used a pencil and it didn't show up very good. So 29 people, welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining us. Please feel free to say hi. If you haven't um, said hi in chat before, I would love to, to say hi with you guys. Okay. So I'm, I'm digging that down here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit over here. And you can see the white that I'm bringing in is supporting that composition. I'm being, I think it's a little more dramatic than a lot of people have done. You know, that you can make it more subtle or more dramatic. So this is definitely, if you know it's cruciform, you're going to be able to tell it's a cruciform. I don't want to cover up all of these, but I'm going to cover up and have just the three there. Okay, I think everyone has voted. If you haven't, 
just if you're here, I'm going to put it in one more time here. This is what I'm going to, we're choosing what I'm going to make next week. I might have to bring those circles back in because I put this dark in right here. So I feel like I want to touch, I'm trying to think of where I'm thinking I'm going to do it right here is I'm going to bring this up and over. And sometimes when I do that, I got to erase a little bit because what it'll do is I'll be having a lot to push over. So I'm thinking of going over the edge and in design and you know, when you're um, in composition, it's a lot about edges, like taking away and um, adding and so I'm going to, no, I haven't um, closed the vote. Um, you just, uh, you haven't missed the vote. You just got to um, type Cassie a one, a one for the rainbow bird and a two for a figurative and three for an abstract grid vibe. Thanks for the hearts. I love that feature. I think the one thing I, I when I was on Twitch, you know, researching what I was going to do, I hope that the super, um, the new chat features have alerts. I miss that. Like when you get a, a subscriber and all that. So I hope it will have alerts. I haven't gone on enough of the people that are here. So I'm playing with this here because I just want it to be fluffy. And I don't know if I want to maybe get rid of this and just push it up through. And this is that intuitive, like, you just take a chance. I can always put it back. <laughs> I mean, I can't, it takes a little bit of time, but nothing's permanent. I just have a lot of holes, so I have to sometimes, even if I like that hole, I just feel like I want to bring these clouds up into the foreground a little bit right here. And I think breaking that up a bit, I think I really like that. I'm going to look at it on the camera for a sec. And like I've said, you know, when you are working, um, having the uh, camera as a help is really wonderful to look through because it's a whole different view. So like I can see through the camera, this is just really hanging out there and I'd like to play around with that a little bit. But I do like the clouds coming up. I, I think my favorite part's right here. And I might push these up just a little bit right here. Like they're coming out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play with this red red block here i'm trying to think i think i might plop some of the uh tap some of the magenta in there and i might merge these together a little bit i think that's a pretty harsh line even right there's a little harsh so let's i'll bring that up maybe with a little bit of orange A little tint on it to bring the value up. I don't want this to be a cloud so I'm using the tint 
to bring the value up on the rock or whatever the abstract thing is. And then what I can do is take that magenta core and put that in and it's going to be brighter. Let's see, where is my, I organized all my pencils, but I seem to be missing my just black pencil. There it is. I'm just trying to shade this a little bit. I don't use my fingers too much, but you can see the difference. Yeah, like, like that stone's coming in. See, and so I can really hyper-focus on like certain areas and just be lost in it. I think that's what I really like about abstract too. And I think that's why I incorporate it into my other paintings. This black pencil is really fun to just really take that line and, and break it up a bit and then just pat it back and then it, it actually peaks back the depth in there. You can see that, especially over the camera. I can yeah, I like that. So, so Cassie, you, you haven't closed anything. It's just me texting in there, like, please vote. It's just a text. So you can just vote one, two, or three. It looks like you voted for number one if you want the rainbow bird. So I will consider that as your vote. Question, Denine, welcome Denine. So glad you're here. Do you ever travel with the, with the pan pastels? Are they too fragile? That's what I recommend for everybody to get the cases. I have all mine in my plastic case. That's what this is on. And then it has a top on it. Um, people travel with them all the time. Like uh, my friend Ivy, she uh, paints abroad, does lessons, you know, classes in France. Um, you just put them in the center of your suitcase. And um, I, I think you're, you're gonna take a chance no matter what, but um, she's shipped them in boxes and had no problems. It's just like when Blix ships them to you, it's like, or anybody who you're buying from, if they don't package them well, they're not gonna make it. So. Um, I haven't personally traveled with them in that way. I have put them in a clamshell and taken them to some places, but for me, um, you know, like just, I haven't really gone and traveled with them much. I am taking a, um, a class from this guy. He's been painting for like 50 years and it's Dakota pastel. Um, so I'll be traveling to, uh, uh, what's the town called? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Huh. All of a sudden, I can't think of it. Well, it's this cute little town, and I'm going to be taking them there, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put them in the clamshell. You know, actually, it's a stick pastel class, so I'd, I'm just taking it to go outside my comfort zone, and um, so I probably won't have to bring my pans. But yeah, if I was going to travel, that's what I would do with it. Okay, I'm really liking this down here. What's a clamshell? Um, well, you can see that this is clear right here and all of these pans come with a clamshell when you buy the full set. When you don't buy the full set, um, this is like the lid and then you put this over the um, pans and that's how I have um, five of these clamshells. I have six and so I um, store all of them because pan pastel comes in families and you want to, I organize them from their family, so from their tent to their core, to the shade, to the extra dark. These are pulled colors. I'm pulling them for the, the time, you know, the live stream. So when I store them, they're all over in their clamshells. I have them all out on a table over there and then I'll put them back when I need to. No problem, Cassie, no problem at all. All right, so I'm gonna go, let's see. I'm thinking about, I'm feeling pretty good about down here. I'm looking at that in the camera. I'm not really loving right here yet. 
And I think I'll have to probably play around with um, those dots. I might I'm going to fade this out, so I'm going to use a darker wand. I want this to be fluffy. I don't want it to be too bright, so I'm just, this is hard as the transition. So sometimes you have to almost even put black on your wand, wipe it off, and then come back here and I've got some red on here. I want this back in here. So I'm doing a little dance. So once it gets blended down, it dulls it, and so then you put a little bit more on top, and that's how you get that fluffiness. I'm also at kind of a weird angle. Let's see if I do this. I may be able to get it better. like that a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to work on bringing this up over here and then I'm going to start bringing some pencils in. I just really had to get this background brought up because I, as you can see, it relates to the white differently in the piece. Okay, and I was going to bring this up a hair. I think um, I'm just thinking about that. So this is where I would erase a little bit. Always put those dots back in. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay. So now that I'm positioned in this way, I'm a little closer to everything. Um, I can see my work on the computer screen a little bit easier. And so I'm looking at that to help me make some decisions. So my idea here is I'm going to add a little bit more green up here. And then I'll fluff the clouds a little bit over that and it'll look like a hillside. And I'm going to put a little bit of green up here and that's going to, I think, feel like it's a, I guess I'm doing a kind of a, a different abstract um, landscape, but with a Dawn twist. <laughs> I might even take these pencils and do my little I have that going on right here too so it's gonna it's gonna be that repetition so a lot of design is like repeating patterns so
so what this has done by pulling it up right here is you can see how it's really accented that that, that this is almost floating and there's mis mysteriousness there so i really like that almost thinking about putting a little bit of black right here. I got a handful of wands. There's my black. I have this little pink peachy mark here. I'm gonna get rid of, oh, that one's in there kind of tough. So I'm gonna take this and erase this out. Now, taking 48 hours break or a night or anything like that um, is really important I believe to let your art breathe we've talked about this before in my lives and I just have noticed by doing these lives and my class teaching and all of that that it is very empowering to be able to or powerful to take that time and then reflect and look back and especially when you're doing something new that you've never done before because you could just hate it in the moment that you're doing it and I think that's really powerful. So I might change the color of this one. Maybe I'll, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty white. Or, it, or I could put it into a cloud that's floating out of that hole. See, that's the cool thing. There's so many options. I feel like I wanna bring this deep part up a hair. So a lot of times my clouds will come out of a cave, and so that's what I'm kind of doing. Welcome here, Laura Mayer. So glad you're here. <laughs> oh, what? I'm so sorry to hear that you're in the hospital. They have no consideration for Dawn's live streams. Oh, Laura, I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. Helene. Okay, but I'm guessing pastels can't go bad like some of the other mediums can. I've been hoarding, so I know I should use some acrylics before they dry out. Um, my water, okay, watercolors, acrylics, I definitely know a lot about them. They can go bad, and that's why we're celebrating when we're using up our supplies because they will go bad, and I have plenty that have gone bad to the point where I'm cutting open tubes and using them, but I don't use acrylic as much anymore. Uh, pan pastel really doesn't go bad. The sticks don't go bad. I have not heard of any, I have a, okay, here's, ooh, here's a good story. Here's a good story. So talk about like life purpose and like a full circle story. When I was 19, this relates to your story, Helene. When I was 19, I, um, I did not, I knew I wanted to be creative, but it, but, you know, it wasn't really supported in my family like a job or anything. I got kind of poo-pooed about it a little bit. Like, oh, you love to draw or, oh, you know, this. But it wasn't really um, like, hey, that could be something you could do, follow your joy, you know, anything like that. But when I was 19, I moved out on my own and I had my apartment and um, I bought a canvas of all things. And I bought a full, like, I don't know, I think it was like a 48, like, older stick. I still have them stick pastel kit and um i carried that around for so many years i kept it and then when i became a pastel artist i took them out and put them in my pastels and they're as bright and as beautiful as ever now i'm 51. those were some old old part supplies they're made out of pigment if they're made out of good quality pigment they're gonna last so they were um a really good uh, 
supply. They lasted great. There wasn't anything wrong with them. I uh, love that they're in my supply now. And so, no, they don't really go bad. I don't feel like they do. Oh my gosh, sepsis. I'm so sorry. Goodness, pneumonia and influenza. I'm so sorry, Laura. I hope you feel better. I, I'm sending you a healing vibes. That is just awful. She's busting out tomorrow. <laughs> so the one thing about uh, Pastel 2, Helene, is that um, it's one of the most archival mediums out there. Um, a lot of people, that's what my goal is, is to demystify it because when I first got into Pastel, I was like, it's so fragile. It'll just wipe off if you touch it. I mean, I can put my finger on here and it'll come off, but it's not wiping off the image. So um, it's not as fragile as people think. And it's, it's really one of the most archival. It's just the thing is when you're all done, it's just not the type of medium you can touch. And I had a lady the other day that took one of my um, uh, life book lessons and it was the black pan pastel technique that I do. And during that technique, she was um, upset because she couldn't touch it at the end. She wanted to rub her hand over it and touch it. And the black uh, pastel, uh, you can seal that and do all that. But some people just have a hard time with, with it not being something you can touch. But um, it does have to be protected behind glass. But it's a pretty durable medium. Okay, I think I'm... I'm really glad you guys are all here. Thank you for joining me. I'm definitely open to any questions, so. Ooh, the left side to me looks like a lighthouse in fog, lighting the way. I'm not normally one to see things, but that's the vibe I get. I love that, Michelle. Um, you know, Lori, who's the oh shiny art, her and I, we've known each other for over 25 years, and she always sees things like that in my art. I love that you're seeing that, something like that too. I've spent a lot of time with the, the mist and the clouds, but you don't know what is going to um, come around. I'm not... 100% loving this spot, so I'm, I'm just trying to find uh, a happiness with it, and I think it's just taking it from that circle and making it into the mist, too. And I'm just, I'm not erasing with an eraser, I'm just kind of blending it heavily right there. I think I like that a little bit better. And then now I have something to work on to bring up, the fl make it look more like the clouds and not a a rock. There's this one spot. I got to get a lighter. I keep using my light ones because when you're live, it's hard to balance what I've used and what I haven't used. Okay. Still not 100% on this angle here. I think it's because I can't get my brush in this way because of the angle for how I have things set up. So I'm just going to lean down like this and see if that works. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, Laura. Well, you know, that's the thing on this journey when you put yourself out there as a teacher and or you're doing the lives and stuff like that, you get to get a lot more feedback than um, just working it quietly in your studio. And 
I, I've had to really just realize we're all in different places and in different um, experiences. And um, some of the questions I get are really fascinating. <laughs> and the one, but I had a friend that I knew who was very tactile. Um, uh, I, I don't know her much anymore, but, but she, at the time, she would always want to touch everything. When I was in rubber stamping, she'd just like, can I have the stamps for a little while? I just want to hang out with them. It was really interesting. And some people are really tactile like that, that I've been learning. And um, so it's interesting how we all have our things. So I really like that I brought this up to kind of a mountain right, right there. And then I'm going to take some of this and I like that right there, but I'm going to mimic a little bit of this green over here with the pencils. And if I didn't let this sit for a day for, you know, this time, I don't think I'd have the time to reflect to go, Oh, this is looking like the Hills or, you know, this is what I, this is where I want it to go. Like th I'm feeling the, I'm feeling the landscape vibe. I'm doing the throw down on the pencils right now. <laughs> I just love that from last week. I've got to throw down on the pencils. And now I'm, I, little, I have a little bit more guidance of where I want that to go. And I'm really liking, and I want to drop this down a little bit more. I'm going to think I'm going to put a teal here. And that mimics the other side. I'm just going to go over this blue, the turquoise. I'm going to give something for this to sit on. I have a dark purple. Let's see if it's bright enough. Oh, that's bright. really want to kind of angle that. Getting so much better, guys, at putting my pencils back. Okay, I have this really beautiful, it's a Carbothello, it's a 330. It's this reddish purple. I don't know, I feel like I want that to go up. Well, I'm playing with the spot, guys. I'm going to angle this down. Yeah, that's what I want. So I want this to go up. And then this is the same kind of color. feeling that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. I don't know what the one equals 72, 53, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle, for trying to get people to vote. Here, I can just copy and paste that one into again. So we're all voting on what I'm going to paint next week. And I'm really excited to see what it ends up coming out with. So that's awesome. Good. I'm glad you like that I put the colors in there. I got a couple requests and I was like, you know, I'm just going to put them in there. So I feel like I want to transition this color a little bit and I'm like, well, how do I want to play with that? I'm going to mess it up a bit is what I want, is what I'm trying to say.
I might use my, this is a raw umber pencil. It's really close to the raw umber I have under here. And I'm gonna take some of this white and with this raw umber pencil and just mess it up just a little bit so it's not so like, cause I was claiming my spot there. If, if you guys were here for last week, I didn't want it to be gone and I have to claim those brights or I like things to melt into something else. Like if, if I'm doing these dots, I like to bring them into something. And then I'm like, oh, well, I like that. So this raw umber pencil is a little bit calmer than a white white, but a lot of these colors I put in there, um, they, tr they, they calm down. So I'm trying to think, I think I might put this. I had some like right here. So once I do something, I usually will repeat it a couple, few times. And this one I'll do with the white. So I'm up in a higher value here. And you don't want to run out of value because then you have nowhere to go. So. And I can always tone those down if I end up thinking they're a little much later. It's just putting them in like I can, you know, take this raw umber and mess this one up a little bit so it's not so strong. I can, I can bring this out a little bit. So you see how it messes it up just like if I was scraping paint. You really can manipulate this pastel to be a lot like acrylic paint. You just have to think of it in a few different ways. I'm going to get this brighter. I'm looking for the brighter. I think I have it right here yellows and the bright, bright oranges. And I have my support stick here. This is the dowel I use to help if I have details. Okay, I really love orange and this pink together right here. I mean, come on. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this yellow. I'm also thinking of making this rainbow go a little bit orange too. Maybe not all of it, maybe just Yeah, those are one of those moments. This is one of those moments. I really love that. It just brings the colors together. And then I have this really bright green. I think I got a question here. Oh, I see what you're doing, Michelle. Ooh, I like that. So, so far, number one has seven votes. Number two has five votes. Number three has five votes. And then there'll be a fourth option where someone has said whatever makes you happy to do. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, question. Thanks for putting a question mark in front of there. What is the vivid purple pencil above the red? Um, 
Like, like, what do you mean? Like above the red? Um, man, you guys, I'm not sure Loretta, you're going to have to, um, I think it might be this one, the 330. I don't know what spot you're talking about on the painting. So you'll have to um, expand on that one for me. Cause I definitely, I'll try to call out the pencils a little bit more, but that can be a little, let's see. All right. Right side, midway below the yellow arch. Right side. Well, I can just pull a couple of them. I don't. Above the red. What is the vivid purple pencil above the red 330? The red 330. I'm so sorry. I don't know where. Let me think. This is the 330 right here. And then I think it might be this one. Maybe it's a 160. It's a Faber Castell pit. That's the one I used right here. I'm thinking that's what you might be thinking. Oh, and I still got to fix that right there. Okay. Right side midway. I think I got it. Right side midway, the yellow arch. Well, I think I got it. Tell me if I got it or not, but I'm sorry. I've had someone else ask me pencils along the way. And if you see me, I'll try to call out the rest and see how that goes. All right. So let me take this in. I'm going to play with this spot over here. See if I can bring it. I'm going to let it go neutral. Looks like that little curve is stuck in there. So I'm just pulling it out. Sometimes the black pencil, it has more staying power. So I need to pull that out. And I'm going to try to put some of those little circles back in. I'm using some of that magenta extra dark. Try not to go too low because I spent all this time on this spot. Oh, good. I'm glad I got it for you, Loretta. At Laura Meyer. Okay. I'm, I'm stoked you guys are voting. That's so much fun. It looks like I might be doing a bird. I have some already pre-made up some really cool, um, designs that I I've been wanting to do. And so I think, uh, that would be fun to do too. And I can always do the, one of the other ones on a different week. So. so the only thing I'm not loving about this is I feel like it's too uniform, but I'm just going to blend it right here and see. One, two, three, four, Helene, question. You've asked us to vote, but do you have a favorite? I know you love owls. I've done so many owls. Thank you for asking, Helene. Um, I've done so many owls lately that I have a trio of owls that um, is ready to be painted that um, I've done a drawing of it. And um, I, I think I'm going to do that one one week. It's, it's a sketch that I've done a while back. But... You know, either way, I'm really excited to do any of them. I'm loving the rainbow birds. Those are a lot of fun to do live. If I do a rainbow bird, I might have a little more, 
I'm not really loving those. I'm doing them again. So just bear with me. So this side I'm realizing I might cut off the camera a little bit with my shoulder, but I'm having a hard time with this side because if I was really painting here, I'd probably be like right here like this. And that covers up the whole thing. <laughs> so I might slide over there real quick just to get this right. In my opinion, right? I mean, I'm gonna fade this out and get it taken care of to where I like it too. I wonder what it would look like if I just did use one of these applicators. It might be kind of harsh, but I'm going to try it. Let's see here. I'm going to see how, you know, I'm really in front there. I'm going to get right there and get my hair. There we go. I'm going to see what this looks like. I don't mind that. That's kind of cool. So whenever you see my hand going out of frame, I'm just wiping it off. And now I'm trying to like, like break that up so it's not so structured. This is really a dark one now. Yeah, Laura, I'm really excited to do the grid too. Thank you so much. I, and I do so much abstracting in my work. Like my next class is gonna be heavily on abstract, but you're gonna love the twist that I'm putting on it. And I'm not revealing that one yet. Let's just say it's vibrant, it, it has nature in it and a lot of joy. So I'm really excited I've started to film for that. And um, yeah, the grid one is a lot of fun. There's one in my, um, I wish I could pull it up, but I can't, but there's, there's a purple. It's, a, I did, um, complimentary colors and it ended up, I really loved how it turned out. So you can see I could just keep going. So I have this spot up here I need to play with. I have this right here I kind of want to do something with. I'm feeling pretty good about this edge and this here. 
This is that 330 Carbothello. Denine, are you referring to the rule of three grid? Okay, so there is a, I'm just gonna show you real quick if you guys don't mind. So there's another composition that is, is grids. I think this will be high, but I don't wanna go on the piece. So it's basically, you know, you can do the rule of thirds, right? But um, you can also grid everything out. And then I could build like, like the composition, I'm thinking like you can come up with your focal points. But then you can use this to like abstract things out. Like I can even have like, okay, well I want a, a flower to be up here. And then I, I'm gonna put another flower in this grid. I don't know, maybe I'll point one right there. And then um, I could have like a, a window down here. I did this one and then I had all these like vines and it, it, it was just really fun. So then you end up, you, you use the grid as putting in colors and different patterns. And it's just a lot of fun to work in. So it's a, a grid abstract. And this is a very rough of it, but this is kind of how you would play around. And you'd probably pick one of these points to be your, your folk, you know, one or two, but, um, or you can just, you don't, you, there's no rules really. It's just giving you a guideline. But um, yeah, and I just love the idea of, of using, it's more squares that you block things out and then you can, you know, play with those, that type of thing. You can really break them up. So yeah, it's fun. So, so that one is, uh, that one we have is number three. You'd have to vote for number three on that one if you want the grid. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the grid, you know, it's even used for any type of, you know, composition. It's just abstract. It gives you a guide to kind of play with. So, um, Okay, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of color here, but I don't wanna go crazy because I kinda of like how that's fading in right there. So I'm just bringing this up a bit. I think I'm gonna use this. I got my juggling going on here. Well, that one's not really the... I'm trying to find my happy color for right here. This is, I love this set of teals. It's this 590. It's actually in the permanent green family. Well, well, actually, well, I guess it's in between the phalo green and Oh my goodness, you guys, I haven't looked at the clock. It's 3.06. I gotta, I gotta really throw down some pencils now. <laughs> I really wanna finish this today. Okay, let me think of what I, want, what I wanna do up here. I don't wanna go any brighter. So I think I'm gonna put in a darker, I might even, I might even, well, I, I want it to tap through with something. So I'm gonna go the dark, Magenta. And then I can take this. I'm putting a, that circle back up there. I don't want to do that again. I think I'm just going to put some red dots going up. Yeah, so I'm gonna use my, I 
I think that's what I'm going to do. They're bright, but we already got it going on. I also want to narrow this. I'm going to flip one of these over because I have them all used. Oh my gosh, Brandon, you're here? That's so cool. Thanks for coming by. That's my brother, you guys. He's totally the one who got me into live streaming. So you owe it all to Brandon. He literally, him and his wife, Nichelle, my amazing sister-in-law, um, they have been really encouraging me to live stream. And so um, I was like, you know what? That's going to be really outside my comfort zone. <laughs> But I went for it, that's why I'm here. Glad to see you here, Brandon. Thank you, I love you, and I can't wait to see you this weekend. Oh, you see magma, oh, like flowing over right here. Maybe that's just a house. I think it just turned into a house, guys. Like. I wanted to put more bright around this, but I, I think it's going to take away from this. <laughs> the flowing red looks like magma to me. That's so cool. Brandon, you're going to get a lot of love. This is a great community here that we are creating. The collective, the creative collective, they are great here. I am thrilled. So give my brother all that love because he, he's an amazing, amazing man. So you're going to get me like all for Klimt. Ugh. We live about four hours away from each other. So I'm really excited to see him and his family. Chocolate beer and gratitude. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like this is a cliff and that's a house and this is farther back. And um, I'm going to play with right here a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to go into like a magenta pencil and then that's going to go into the magenta dark that I might bring up a little bit. I'm looking on my screen here and... I might even use, let me get all these wands out of my hand. I have this purple too. Let's see. I might have to just put some pan pastel in there, guys. Let's see. Sometimes things just look better. Especially with, like, you can do these really cool lines like this. See that pattern? Like, I'm digging that, that's fun. And then I can take those and bring them together so this doesn't look so. I think I'm gonna play with So these are all those little moments that you have to let it breathe or you wouldn't put them in. So I'm just looking on my screen. I'm really liking how it's coming together. I feel like I might put a little more orange right here. And that bright yellow I'm not going to put a lot of it because I got a lot going in over there, but. I, I like this right here. I'm going to try to leave that. I 
I really like that. I would almost wouldn't mind it to be back a little bit more. Let's see if that enhances that. I'm just really, I'm starting to slow down so that that's a good sign. I want to mess up this a little bit. I know it sounds funny, but I'm going to use a darker thing. I just don't want this to be so perfect. Like I want to abstract it out a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I feel like Denine, you're so sweet. All of you guys are so sweet to my brother. Thank you so much. Loretta question, teal 390 pencil. I can't find it. What do you mean you can't find it? Are you shopping? <laughs> are you shopping right now, Loretta? <laughs> um, teal 390, are, are you thinking, um, Yeah, I'm not sure which one you're talking about. It's probably, this is the 590, but this is the permanent green kind of family with a phalo, so I'm not sure. Yeah, sometimes I, I buy them in individuals. They usually have all of them, so I might have the wrong number, but feeling like I like that. I'm gonna get a darker pencil and Put some scribbles in here. I really like that right there. Let's see if I can put the tiniest little hint of a green right here. Yeah, it's like a little transition. Okay, I gotta work on this corner, guys, before we go, or we might go a little bit longer. Oh, is Helene leaving? Gotta go, thanks, Helene, thanks for coming, and thanks again for your wonderful comments. I just really appreciate your support, so I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I'm trying to remember where you're from. I have it. Helene. Yeah, I don't have where you're from. Down. Oh, <laughs> that seems so, Laura. Laura, you're so sweet, you're funny. Never come, I'll never come between an artist and her shopping cart. You guys are awesome. Do we need to step in and stop you, Loretta? I see where that's coming from now. Oh man, usually Blick's ha Blick has it all. So, all right, so I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Um, I think that's the only spot that I'm really thinking might need to be touched before I leave. I'm actually really digging it. Some of the rocks I wouldn't mind 
putting a little bit more texture on them. I, I really think I want to mess up with this a little bit. And then I'm going to put And then I'm going to tap a um, I'm going to put a little bit of maybe this down here. Mm. I liked it neutral, but I didn't like it neutral. Maybe it's this one. And then I'll bring it out with and then I'll take this pencil that's in the same burnt sienna family. This is the uh, 655. I like that. I think I'm gonna bring that around a little bit, give it some love. So you can see how that just carried in three spots around. That's kind of a really good, um, pattern thing I like to do. It's a Derwent teal pencil. I don't have a ton of the Derwent. Um, I only have, um, Francine, one Derwent pencil um, here. I, well, I have two, and it's this dark purple, the diazonine, dioxine purple. It's a 280, and I have a P260 violet. So those are the only two I have on the whole tray, just so you know. I asked the nursing assistant for gift recommendations off the menu. She muttered, you are sick, as she left the room shaking her head. Oh my God, Laura, that's so funny. I'm sure you're a bright light in that place. Not that I wish, I just hope you feel better really soon, but um, I'm sure you're making them smile. They should be making you smile, but. So basically I keep saying I gotta fix this corner because it's 320 and um, I'm getting so much better at keeping my pencils organized, you guys, you'd be really proud of me. <laughs> I need a gold star for keeping my pencils. So I like this bright right here. I felt like I wanted to do more right here too. So let's just see what we can do here in the next few minutes. I might bring this up a bit. So I'm going to make a tint. The, I want it like it's getting some reflection from it and I can always, and I'll have to blend it right here. I might echo it on the inside a little bit. So I'm going to get a lighter wand. I've already gone through quite a few today because I'm not, I've just noticed you just can't focus on everything. I mean, come on. So I'm gonna put a little bit, I wanna be careful and, excuse me, let's see here.
So this part of the painting, I'm really surprised to be quite honest with the lives that so many people don't come back for the second one because I think the second one is where, because I'm going to have the reveal coming up soon. I have the printout. Um, I just think it goes on such an interesting journey and the most of the mark making is in the second half. So you can see how I just put a little bit of that magenta right there. And I think doing that to that spot, I might do it a little bit here, almost makes it look like it's a dome in there. And then I'll neutral it out with this. This is the magenta extra dark. Let's see. I'm going to fluff it a little bit. Laugh out loud, Michelle, the Tootsie Pop question. I do wonder on that smooth UART 600. Ooh, did I miss something? Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. Michelle, um, she's Dreamweaver before. Have you counted how many layers of pans you can do before you can't do anymore? Um, I think it's about four or five. I, I don't know because like, I do the base layer, I go over it one more time. I think you can do about four layers, but it's it just depends on how you're moving it, right? Like I'm going over this, but I'm moving it. I'm gonna fluff this out right here so it looks a little cloudy, but it'll be dark. And this, when you use the white, uh, a tint with this um, magenta extra dark, it turns into a Mars purple, like this Mars purple pencil. Right here, they, um, this is the 642. And um, you'd be surprised because even with this like being totally done, I could go over the whole thing with sticks more. Um, sticks on the, on the next slide. A lot of people use Pan Pastel for underpainting. And I have um, been getting more into that where I put down and then I start finishing it with the sticks. Okay, so I'm feeling like I need to push that back now that I've pulled it forward and seen what it looks like. So I'm going to see what this looks like. I might go, I might go forward again. So let's just see. all I don't mind that I think I might bring it up to be more of a neutral like a cloud like in the other spots I'm just looking on this monitor here it really helps me So I have too much, so I'm knocking it off. I really want that to look atmospheric is the word. I think that's what I'm going for. Okay, I'm gonna put, oh Dawn, you haven't kept any of your stuff white. As I consider the difference of this piece from its earlier marks to the current version, I'm thinking I'll change my vote to number three. I'm loving its deep dimensions and can't wait for the reveal. 
Oh my goodness, you're changing your vote to the abstract, I think, right? Tuesday versus Thursday. Okay. It's the mullet business in the front. Foundation of paintings, party in the back. Fun making color pop. I love that. Tuesday, Tuesday versus Thursday. So good. Temple. Oh my gosh. The mullet business in the front. Yeah, the foundation. It's interesting because I would think um, this part's my fun part, but maybe that's not as much fun, I don't know, to watch or um, I find it interesting. Okay, Michelle, she's updated, updated the stats. The rainbow bird has eight votes. Number two, the figurative has four. Number three, the abstract has six. And whatever makes me happy. The five gold stars are for your pencil organization. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. And I feel the need to put one, a little bit of that. Kind of like it's radiating off a bit and then I'm gonna bring it right here. I, I'm just so grateful for all of you guys. This has really just really lifted me up just being able to connect with people with art in this way. You know I've been doing classes for a few years now and it's just not the same and I did the auctions. I, I did auctions for like three, God, what was it three years? I did them um, on um, Facebook and um, I um, loved the feedback and the interaction, but they were really stressful. They're, they're just, for me, my personality, um, it's a lot. So this is my happy place. I feel like I'm meant to be here. I like echoing this, this dome vibe, like the rainbow. And I feel like I'm gonna do a little bit of it with this blue this is the turquoise and the permanent green and i'm going to put a little bit of that in here i'm going to fluff this out a little bit so i next time i'm going to be a little bit better at keeping my brushes white for my light and my dark. And I, I hope I don't have pastel on my face. <laughs> you guys got to watch out for me there. Okay, so right here, I just feel like is I want to put a little bit of something, then I'll go over it with the orange pencil again, if I can remember. Yeah, I love that so much too. Okay, so if I pushed, if I keep that right there, I actually think I want to put a little bit over here. You guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. So on the camera, I can see it. Well, that's kind of a green color. It's okay. I'm gonna pull it. So I'm just pulling off color you can see it right here you see that how it's putting that kind of hole in there now I'm just using a a soft tool I'm gonna put some of that back here in just a sec It's kind of like this vibe right here. I'm still not sure about right here, this corner either, but we're gonna work through that real quick. Okay, I have, how did it go away so quick? Okay, it must be my towel. So I'm being a little gentle here because I wanna keep some of this variation. And I don't have a lot of white to pull up from here because it's already so white. Of 
question. So you're pulling off the pastel with a clean soft tool. A, a heavily wiped off soft tool, I was pulling off some, yeah. I like these subtleties. They're, they're things that took me a long time to start seeing, but um, I'm gonna now put them back in with a cloud vibe, but I want that depth to be there so there looks like it's going farther back. Hmm. I'm going to do this too. Okay, you guys, it's 3.33, so I'm just finishing up. But I'm figuring out what colors I want to finish this out. I'm going to put, oh, that's not the one I want. Oh, it's right here. This is a little eraser. And I'm just going to create some marks here. Like, I like this white, but I'm going to follow this line that we have going on. So see how that broke that up a bit? This is just an eraser. Oh, I know what I was going to put in here. Some, some floaty lines. I'll just put a couple... Watch. So this is that moment. I'm going to stay on for a few minutes because this is so close to being done. So if you have to go tell me, um, I totally understand it. I just um, want to definitely finish it. Okay, so I got a few. So I'm pulling off. Thank you, Michelle. I'm going to show the reveal here in just a second. This is what trips my trigger about the medium. You can just keep going and going. Totally true. And I'm really trying to stay true to myself and show you that that's the truth and I'm not trying to like cram something in that's an unrealistic expectation because I want to be happy with it when I'm done. Michelle, have you done pans on canvas? I haven't, um, it just wouldn't stick. It's not, you could, you could put pastel ground and then you can, you can build off a of pastel ground. Ivy Newport, she's done a lot of pastel on canvas, but there's a lot of like chemistry there. There's, you know, mixing your pastel and then knocking the whites back and then bringing the whites back you go more mixed media you, you end up because you can't seal it the same so um okay i'm trying to okay i was doing this so i like to put in these floaty little moments i don't i'm gonna just go for it and i can cover it up but And they're like little strings. And then I take and put these little... So, you know, people will be like, oh, I love doing abstract and the medium and everything, but you definitely have to be patient because it's a lot of layering.
I think I like that. Got that. So the only spot I'm not totally charged on before we leave is right here and right here. So I'm going to just play with this real quick. It might just need to be brought up with some clouds. I think I might be being a little too conservative with that. Yeah. So a lot of the magic happens in the last, like, I think, hour, you know, 20, I don't know, maybe even like the last few minutes, I'll make decisions that I go, oh, that piece wouldn't have been where it's at if I didn't do that. Okay, and then right here, I'm just going to play with this a little bit. And then right there. So this is like just going around and getting those white highlights in. Right here's a little harsh. Thanks for the hearts, guys. really trying to hold on to this area so I don't want to totally go over it. Great news. Tell Brandon I was able to secure a very tempting sugar-free gelatin cup. Watch the mail. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good, Laura Mayer. Oh, you've, you know, for someone not feeling good and being in the hospital, you have an amazing, amazing positive attitude. No matter what medium I use, I'm always trying to blend. I think that's why pan pastels are appealing to me. Blend, blend, blend. Yeah, that's why a lot of people... Oh, wait. Phoenix, don't go yet. Don't go. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the reveal. I'll just do it, and you guys can see, and then I'll touch the, the things. So here's where we were. The printer's a little off and I made it too small, but you'll be able to see. And then that's where we went. And so you definitely, we took it on a journey. So I think that's a lot of fun. I hope you were able to catch that Phoenix. Oh, Brandon, you're listening. That's awesome. So yeah, I, I definitely think we've taken it on a good journey. I think some of the the biggest things, you know, was fluffing it all out. But you can see how some people just wanted me to stop right here. And for your personality, like if that satisfied you, that'd be really great. But it really looked like stained glass. And um, I like to take it a little farther. So there's still a few things I want to play with. But I definitely want to show everyone that reveal. Oh, good, Phoenix. Good, Phoenix. I'm glad you caught it before you left. And um, I'm, I'm going to just touch on a couple. It's 341. I'm going to go for just a couple more minutes here. I have a few spots that I'd like to, to play with that I didn't touch. But you can definitely see the the attraction to doing the abstracts because you can just go on and on and on. So black's kind of where I want to end, where I like to like bring these little abstracty marks out. That's kind of my signature thing I like to do. And I'm going to make this more of a hole here. The give and take on it is pretty amazing. Like I can just go back and reshape that and then it'll be, I like that more. Um, whoops. 
I don't so I'm feeling pretty good about that, guys. I think I'm still not 100% on this corner right up here. Let's try this. Like the clouds are moving in. And I think I want to do this on this side. These little subtle moments can be like a bigger deal than you think. Oh yeah, look at that. If you just put a little bit of dark on these edges. It really brings the, uh, the clouds forward. This has been so much fun, you guys, for me to, to share this abstract with you guys. Okay. I'm gonna pop this, this blue. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that, you guys. I, I hope you are liking it. I hope. You can see how it can just be a blissful, happy journey, right? Like, it's just so much fun. And I'm just hitting those little spots and I'm going to hit this real quick. Oh, so my son's home. So you're going to hear a little bark. Sunny, it's okay, bud. I think this stage is where you harmonize all of this, like all of my um, stained glass look. Like I'm bringing it all together and I'm harmonizing it. And it's done with such an intention that, you know, I know where it can go. And I really enjoy that. All right. Oh, puppy barks are always welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you turn it upside down? I can't. It's on a, I have to untape the whole thing. It actually looks really funny upside down. It, um, like these spots are really dark on, on camera, but, uh, like right here, but it'll literally look wonky. So when, um, 
it gets flipped. It's actually quite um, distorting. I've done it, um, I, but I totally know what you mean. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I mean, I'd probably play around with a little bit of the spot still, but overall, I think um, I feel really good about that. Um, I hope to master that kind of insight one day. What did Cameron say? Almost time to stick a fork in it. Oh gosh, he knows that that's a joke. Some, one of you guys said that one day, like it's done, stick a fork in it. And I've, I, I say that all the time now. And um, yeah, you can screenshot and take and flip it upside down. That's a great idea, Autumn. Feel free to sh free sh uh, screenshot it. And, um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great time. I sure did. And um, just thank you for being here on this journey. And, and just remember, if you haven't joined yet, I have my free uh, pastel library membership on my website at dawnvanderstoop.com. And um, uh, feel free to join that. It's for free. There's some more lessons there. I have another one I'm getting ready to launch on there this uh, next month. And um, yeah, please like and comment and uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll be here next week. I look forward to seeing who, Sunny, come here, bud, come here. Um, I look forward to um, seeing what the vote is for our piece next week. And I think what I might do is I'll do them in stages, like um, I'll do them in order, you know, so no one's gonna be left out. So wait, can, they, can you see? Here, wait, it's this way? See, they're a little sunny. All right, you guys, you have a great one, and I will talk to you guys next week. I wish you the best. I got my hair and all that. <laughs> all right, let's see. I just want to make sure. Yeah, make sure you get your votes in before we leave. Michelle, thanks for all your support. Laura and everything. I just really appreciate it. Laura Mayer, I hope you, you heal well. I, I hope you get out of the hospital, but I am pretty honored that you're here with us today. That's pretty amazing. And um, I just want to thank you guys all for coming and being here. So you guys take care. All right, buddy.